Pride in your job and in yourself is priceless. Jenny Wiest is a living example of using her pride and self-determination to reach her dreams. Jenny was injured in a skiing accident her senior year in high school. She lost the use of her legs and has only partial use of her arms. While in the hospital, she was told about the Department of Rehabilitation and realized we could assist her in reaching her goals of finding a rewarding career and the means for an independent life. Jenny had the flexibility to adjust her goals, so at the end of her rehabilitation program, she would have very marketable job skills. You need to just stick with it. Um, set goals that at the end of the goal, there is a job waiting there for you. You know, a realistic career. Jenny is able to lead an independent life with a fulfilling career, and she made it happen with the help of the department. My department of rehabilitation counselor was amazing. In the beginning, you didn't really know what you could do, and she gave you ideas. She gave you the opportunities. The programs were there as long as you wanted to take advantage of them. Being awarding the, awarded the teaching position was an, a great sense of accomplishment to me. And it made me realize that with the help of others, like the Department of Rehabilitation and self-determination, that I could accomplish whatever I wanted. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Smith. And I'm Dan Elliott. News 10 at 6 starts right now. Now, from KXTV, Channel 10, the spirit of the West, covering the day's local news. This is News 10 at 6. This is everything. My job is everything to me, being with these kids. and A teacher confined to a wheelchair is told to give up her job or lose the benefits that she needs to live her life. Thanks for joining us here at 6. It's really a tragic chain of events for this Roseville teacher and her students. Jenny Wiest, a beloved math teacher and cheerleading advisor at Rosemont High School, has been advised by bureaucrats to quit her job and go on welfare. And News 10's Gloria Moraga joins us now with this story, Gloria. Unbelievable story. Jenny Wiest, teacher taxpayer. She happens to be a quadriplegic, but red tape and government bureaucrats that threaten to take away her attendant care. And in turn, her independence. It is a nightmare that was going to cost her what she values most, her job. John, let's try it. Go from the prep. Try it again. Jenny Weiss with the loves of her life, her students. Lisa, oh, a senior, I see, a senior. And the feeling is mutual. She, she's more than a coach, she's, she's a friend. We are blessed to have her. She, she goes all out with us. Everything. My job is everything to me. A snow skiing accident leaving Jenny confined to a wheelchair, a quadriplegic for 22 years. While eligible for a long list of government services, she's only asked for and used one, attendant care. All right, let's leave the bangs here. <laughs> no, there's absolutely no way I can't get out of bed in the morning. I couldn't go back to bed in the evening. But the veteran math teacher and cheerleading coach was on the brink of losing her attendant care. She was advised to quit her job. Some call it disincentive to work. Disability rights activists call it just plain stupid. The caseworker the other day at Social Security, her, her advice was to, the only basically option I had was to quit my job and quit my job for a year. And after the year's time was up, apply again at welfare status. One mistake on a Medi-Cal form kicked off a chain of events, and federal, state, and county health and social services agencies all turned their back on this taxpaying teacher. It's just doors closing every way I turn. Quitting her job, like stealing her spirit, destroying her soul, her life, was never an option. It's everything. I don't have my own kids. Those are my kids. But this is the one thing I can do that I can contribute to society. And they can't take this from me. They're trying to, but they can't take this from me. We are the best! 
Now, after I first talked with Jenny and her students last week, I made about 25 calls. That's a low estimate to government agencies, civil rights groups. Just a couple of hours ago, I got this call. Jennifer wins from Susan Koth, Public Affairs Specialist at Social Security here in Sacramento. We have reinstated Jennifer Wiest's SSI benefits. This reinstates her medical services. In her case, her attendant care. Jenny called me this afternoon. She is elated. She's very happy, as are her students. I can only imagine. She seems like a very remarkable woman. Is this a Wonderful. rare case, Gloria? Absolutely not. Disability rights groups say that's the tragic part of this. This happens again and again and again. It's called disincentive to work, and it's your tax dollars. It costs so much more money to put somebody on welfare that is able to work but is disabled. It costs so much more. It would have cost the taxpayers triple, quadruple what we're paying her just for her attending and care. And somebody who wants to continue working, too. And yeah. the kids love her.